So to, today I'm going to show you how to use this finger finger join jit. The uh, the link is for the file. You can find it down below, and also the the the, the link for the files for the for the keys are on the description of the video down below. And when this will allow you to do finger finger joints for wood. Um, first you have to put it together. So it, you don't really need to put two together you can use only one if you but in my case i want something longer so i put these two together so i'm putting these two together and we and we, i'm going to show you right now how the cast is done all right but in order to this to work this the g it will run resting on top of, of this a half an inch wood and the three quarter inches as you use it as a support for the guy This is the guy right here, and I will allow you to do this this type of joint. So it's very so this will run here between the guys, and then you lift it, go to the next one, and run it again. Lift it, go to the next one, and run it again, and go for. And will allow very good finger joints. All right. The thickness of this guy here, or this pin, has to be equal to the thickness of the cutting blade. If the thickness different, you will have or, or too tight or too loose. In order to be like it is right now, very you need to be pretty much exactly the thing. The thickness of this has to be equal to the thickness of the cutting blade. So the first thing we set it out. Let's do it again. So we set it out of the set right here. One ping of set between the and we just put it here and we and we just set it out so Somewhere around there. That will shape the ping of Seth again. Yeah, I got the ping of Seth perfect. I got my stuff ready here. So I take in my clamp and I clamp it. Now it's clamped. I can remove it. Put it back. Go here. And let's do it. So
So now that we're done, you just stick it up, remove the clamp, take the two parts, and they And they connect together. And that's pretty much what we're looking for. That's the connection that we're looking for. All right? So here you are. Now with this 3D printed finger joints, G, in the table in the table saw, you can do almost any finger joints. I'm gonna do different files for different size, so to all it will be available to for the load on the link down below. And hopefully you like it, positive. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see you.